Hey guys, so I normally don't do videos like this because my plan for the channel is kind of like all information all the time, only high yield videos, no fluff. I just kind of want to give you guys the best bang for your buck, the most information I can give you per minute of watching my videos. But I feel like today is different and today is different because of what's going on right now. Oh man, someone's about to cut me off. Yep. I just got my third email this week, guys, this week, only this week, my third email from somebody who I helped with their essay and their application who just got an interview invite. That's huge. I mean, I only started doing this, like helping people with their essays, with their applications, like a few months ago. And I started doing it for free, just for random people who were emailing me. And then there was enough demand to where I started charging for the services. And it's kind of grown. And I think I've helped about maybe 50 to 60 people, something like that, kind of editing their CASPA essays, helping them with their applications. And now three people so far have gotten interview invites. And now they're asking for help preparing for their interviews. I'm gonna do a mock interview with them, all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to say, first off, like the channel is still really small. Obviously it hasn't like blown up, it hasn't taken off. It's still really new and I haven't posted that much stuff. But I'm honestly floored and just like, I cannot believe how much this is actually helping. Now, I don't wanna take credit because obviously people who get interviews, like they're competitive applicants, right? They got an amazing GPA, I didn't have anything to do with that. They've got great experience, I didn't have anything to do with it. They wrote good essays and they had really good stories to tell. And I, again, I didn't do anything for that, you know, they did the work. The only thing I was able to do was kind of help them, you know, take some things out, reword a few things, stuff like that, and just kind of tweak it, you know, just present it in the best possible light. So I don't wanna by any means take any credit for anything that anyone's done. Everyone who got an interview got that inter interview on their own merits, their own laurels, their own work, you know? Like they were really amazing competitive applicants, that's why they got their interviews. So honestly, I'm not really surprised that these people got interviews, I'm just really excited that I'm starting to see these people progress in their careers. And you know, I know they're gonna get in. Maybe not this year, I don't wanna jinx anyone or like make them choke, so I'm not gonna say like, yeah, I guarantee they're gonna get in, like you never know, you know, it's competitive. but. I know these folks are eventually going to get in, they're hard workers, they're amazing applicants. And so I'm just super proud, super excited to watch this process and to be a part of it, to like get to see these people progress from applicant to interviewee to eventually hopefully PA students and then eventually, you know, hopefully we're going to be colleagues, we're both going to be PACs, all of us. And I'm just super excited to be a part of that. I'm just, as you can tell, like I'm kind of at a loss for words. I'm just so like excited for these people because I know what it's like to be that excited, you know? Like to have this dream that you may have had for a couple of years or like in my case, 10 years to be a provider, to finally go to PA school or med school or nursing school or whatever it may be, you know? And to finally see progress, whether it's seeing a good GPA finally pay off or like finally getting a job as like a scribe or a medical assistant, you know, where you know you're gonna progress towards that career or where you get that interview invite and if it goes well and then when you get that acceptance letter to PA school it's like I don't know it just it feels right it just feels like it's all finally coming together just that little bit you know and then obviously eventually that wears off and you realize okay this is awesome but then I gotta put in work you know I gotta put in everything I put in to get to this point now it's gonna be ten times that to get to the next level you know like getting into PA school, people say is the hardest thing. Uh, maybe, for some people that might be true. For me, the first year was the hardest thing. You know, it was really difficult. And so you go through that. Then you're a second year. And now suddenly you're not studying for classes anymore, but now you're studying for life. You're studying for real patients, which we haven't started yet. I've got two weeks until my first rotation, but like the pressure's on. And they keep reminding us, you know, like you're gonna be seeing real patients. You're gonna be acting like a provider. Like you gotta know your stuff. And so the pressure's on. Now you gotta work 10 times as hard as you did the first year. And then guess what? When you graduate, you gotta take the pants. And then once that's over, you gotta, you're an actual provider, you're a PAC, and now you got lives counting on you. And not to mention, you know, if you make a mistake, you can get sued and all that stuff. So the pressure is again, 10 times what it was. But as people who wanna be providers, that's what we're signing up for. You know, it's what we wanna do. It's our life purpose, it's our mission, it's what we wanna do with our lives. And so, I'm rambling, I know I'm just freaking excited. I cannot, I don't wanna say I cannot believe it because I can believe it. 
it's what it should be. These people are competitive. They got these interviews. I'm just so freaking excited for them that I can't contain myself. And so that I made this video. And you know, I made this video just driving home from a COVID test. <laughs> I just had to get COVID tested for school. I got like randomly selected. So I'm driving back from school right now. I got a, you know, I had to get COVID tested and I'm on the highway and I don't have my little lavalier mic or anything. So I don't know what this video is gonna sound like. It might be a bunch of like highway noise. And by the way, my muffler is all screwed up. So my car's noisy. I don't know, man. I, I really hope that the video kind of comes through and you can hear me and that I don't sound really weird and there's not wind noise, but I don't know. I mean, if it's really that bad, I guess I'll reshoot the video, but it's just not gonna feel the same. It's not gonna be as like unscripted and raw as this is because this is my legit emotional response to getting that third email this week. Like the first email I got, I was stoked. I was really excited. And then in the second email, I was like, is this really happening now? Like all at the same time, there's two people that just got interviews and now a third one in a couple days, like, I can't even describe it. It's just so freaking exciting. I'm honestly, I think right now as like a mentor, as like a pre-PA coach, I guess is what I am right now. Like I'm actually more excited for these three people to get their interview invite than I was to get my own interview invite. Like I remember I was stoked, I was really excited, but it was honestly kind of like, okay, like about time. You know, I've been gunning for this for so long and like this is just finally falling into place like yes obviously I'm excited but like this should happen I'm competitive like it's come on like it's about time that I got an interview invite for these people like I'm just really excited because I know they're working hard and I'm probably not making any sense I'm just I'm excited for you guys I'm proud of you guys yes everybody who's reached out to me like I'm gonna be very happy to help you with your uh, with your mock interviews and your interview prep and all that stuff you know you signed up you did it the right way and like I'm gonna help you I'm excited to do that Everybody else, everybody else who I'm working with to help with your applications, like hang in there. Obviously this is what happens when you're competitive and when your application is awesome and when you're just like a cut above the rest, you know, you get interview invites. And then we prepare you and we get you to that next level and hopefully you get invited. And hopefully you get a seat in the, uh, in the next class at the school that you wanna go to. But again, it's competitive. There's a lot of work that goes into it and I'm just, I'm super excited for these people that are making progress. I'm super excited for the people I'm working with because they're motivated. If you want me to work with you, my website is now live, boristhepa.com. There's instructions to sign up for every service that I provide, CASPA edits, uh, pre-PA counseling, and mock interviews. So just go to boristhepa.com, sign up for that if you want. Just keep in mind, there is a waiting list. I am still in PA school. I'm not taking on more than like one client a week. Uh, so there is sometimes a waiting list. Sometimes it's a couple weeks. Sometimes it's a month or two. So just keep that in mind. But if you do want my help, do feel free, sign up, and we'll see if I can work with you, okay? I'm super proud of you guys. Again, I'm just really excited that there's progress being made by these applicants. You know, I know how hard they worked. I know how nervous they were, and I know they're going to do great. So proud of you guys. I really got nothing else to say. You know, I'm signing off. I'll see you in the next one.